basket of least developed countries, the figure for least developed countries is 6.4%, and we are only spending 4.2%. Let me take education. This year's allocation for the Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan falls beyond whatever numbers they've come up with, but much below the UPA's allocation of 26,608 crores in our last year. <coughs> Public spending on education is not only inadequate, it is underutilized. Only 57% of the estimates were released last year. So Jaitli Saab was speaking about expenditure as opposed to budget estimates, but on education only 57% of his own estimates were spent. But Narega, he told me. Ah, but not education. Not education. <laughs> Only one-fourth of the amount was spent in the first few months of the year, and quality of education has been suffering, Mr. Chairman. Now, the Prime Minister said that he saw this budget as an examination. In this case, his report card will have to say, must try harder. <laughs> <laughs> now, enrollment in schools is not the only thing. We must have much more academic freedom. Yes, sir. I need, I need three, four minutes to wrap up. I've just got to education. The fact is that at a time when independent thought, uninhibited deliberation, right to dissent, and educational institutions are under threat, if you also starve them of money, how are we going to get better, well-informed citizens of modern India to serve our nation? That was education. Health, sir. If you look at the fact that we need a colossal amount of money in order to achieve anything remotely like the declared objective of universal health coverage by 2030. The fact is the public health system is in pretty bad shape. The government has taken so long to deliberate on the national health policy, but the budget for the transport ministry is 2.6 times the budget of the health ministry. Even customs duty exemptions on 76 life-saving drugs Cancer drugs, HIV yeah. drugs, have been withdrawn by this budget, Mr. Chairman. Very safe. And welfare measures for people with disabilities. It's particularly sad that they have raised the budget, but there's no comprehensive legislation yet to guide the expenditure that they have raised in a futile uh, manner, because there is no disabilities law. It's been pending for two years in this government. We must have a disabilities law in consonance with the international standards before we can usefully and effectively spend this money. Funds needed to spur infrastructure growth, as I mentioned at the beginning, down by 12% this year, 2.21 lakh crores this year. It was 2.51 lakh crores last year. What about the money for addressing the banking sector's problems? At least the finance minister could have offered us a roadmap for how he intends to recapitalize public banks with an allocation of uh, 25,000 crores. In fact, we all know there are so many non-performing assets, Mr. Chairman, it's been mentioned and 3.6 lakh crores of non-performing assets. The banks are unable to fund long-term infrastructure projects, so many of which are stuck in the implementation stage. Mr. Jaitley, of course, will call it a legacy of the past, but it's his government that failed to acknowledge the crisis in 2014 and resolve it as per the Reserve Bank of India's recommendations on revitalization of distressed assets that year. Manufacturing. The fact is it's done. For manufacturing to be internationally competitive, you require policies that will reduce the cost of manufacturing, affordable interest rates, improved infrastructure, better trade facilitation, lower cost of power, in other words, an entire ecosystem. Just having a slogan saying make in India won't do it, sir. You need all of these, and the make in India budget in any case has been cut by 35%. Job creation, sir, 17 and a half million people have found themselves unemployed under the BJP. The labor force participation rate has been going down. I have a former labor minister sitting in front of me. It's now as low as 47.2% in rural areas and only 54% in urban areas. Another 30 million will enter the workforce in the remainder of Mr. Modi's term. What work will this budget help them find? The female participation rate, by the way, is even lower, 30%. Are there any targeted measures to help females work? Wage demands of the organized sector are not being met, Mr. Chairman. I have received a delegation of nurses, for example, the wage demands of our staff nurses are low even in the seventh play commission. And without satisfied nurses, how will our healthcare system function effectively? Pradhan Mantri man ki baat karte hain, Vit Mantri dhan ki baat karte hain, lekin kabhi bhi isi sarkar jan ki baat kab karegi? Finally, sir, last point, we must ensure that this government is held to the last of its earlier commitments. The budget has confirmed the fears of many foreign observers that this government is not going to make any significant institutional reforms. What will be the effect of all this on the rupee? 
during the election campaign, Mr. Modi was withering about the decline in the value of the rupee. But it's fallen 16.5% on his watch. It was 58.50 when he became PM. He talked about it crossing the finance minister's age. Well, now it's overtaken his age. <laughs> and having plumbed the debts of 68.85, even though it's slightly better at 67.41 today, the overall trend is that it seems to be well on the way to crossing all numbers and joining the BJP's Mark Darchak Mandal. You know, sir, the budget, the last budget of the UPA, Mr. Modi wrote an article in the Economic Times. And he wrote saying this budget is piecemeal, UPA wants to play safe. He had repeatedly mocked the UPA for not thinking big. It's all the more disappointing that this budget has also failed to think big, tried to play it safe, and approach the country's economic challenges piecemeal. Yeah, the joke going around is that this is a good budget only for the Aadhaar card holding BD smoker in need of dialysis who lost his degree certificate and plans to launch a loss-making startup in a gram panchayat with Winrega funds. For everybody else, it's a huge disappointment. As Ghalib has observed, this time it's really him and not my version of Ghalib. Bujh jate hai diye kabhi tel ki kami se bhi har bar kusur this is what has happened to our country. Kusur kisi aur ka nahi hai, bhai sahab. Aapki sarkar mein hi tel ki kami hai. Jai Hind, Mr. Chairman.